All right, guys, here it is, chicken pot pie. I can't wait to eat it. Um, I'm really excited, so let's give this a try. Mm, it's hot. Excellent. Creamy inside. <laughs> Homemade. Mmm. Uh, the sauce, you know, the cream, the filling part is really good. So about the music, I wanted to film outside because it's colder. It was, it's just really hot in my house because I was cooking all day. This took a little while to make because, sorry, um, I, I, I think I started at almost five. It's done by seven, about two hours. guys on a scooter or something but you guys have mentioned you like outside sound so I hope you don't mind but uh, <laughs> I have so much left over of the chicken pot pie this is really good it kind of reminds me of like a Thanksgiving dinner like something you would serve Thanksgiving hot hot Whew. so hot that was hot. Um, I guess I broke up my water. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got some lemon water. I received a couple of um, complaints. I say that's good too much. So I'm trying to say something else besides that's good. Like wonderful, amazing, yum. But some people think I shouldn't not say, I should not stop saying that's good because that's like who I am. So I don't know. But leave me in comments down below what you think I should do. <laughs> I mean, every time I eat something that's really good, I don't even think I'll say, oh my God, that's so good. But even my brother says that, he goes, oh my God, that's so good. But I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, this is excellent. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> Hot. Mmm. The chicken, it was a rotisserie chicken from Safeway. Um, homemade potatoes. I got an organic vegetable from Cheddar Joe. So most of this stuff is organic vegetables, frozen. Um, so yesterday I called my mom and I was like, I want to make chicken pot pie tomorrow night. She was like, oh, I'm like what? You like chicken pot pie? She's like, yeah, that's my favorite. And um, I guess she makes it homemade, but she does a lot of work. But she actually makes the dough fresh. Um, I use Pillsbury crust. But I'm sure if you make it fresh, it would take a lot more longer. But it, it's, yeah, it took a while. Oh, I also added some fresh broccoli that I had left over in the refrigerator. So a lot of vegetables in here. I think I added a little bit too much corn. <laughs> but I love corn. Hmm. If you guys are a mukbanger, you know you like you, you get food at the, and the time you set up or something happens you don't it's not the right setup the food's cold but you do the video anyways. Well, this 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 will be where you don't it will, you will not be worried if it's too hot. I mean it won't, you won't have to worry if it's too cold because it's like super super hot. Just go in the oven. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. I put thyme season in here and if, when I was in the fill you see how it was the thyme really came through like the thyme is really good in here I really love it mm. hot <laughs> mm. so hot Try some salad to cool down because it's just really hot right now. This is like some Italian dressing on here. Also got the salad from Cheddar Joe's.
on my weekly vlog. I don't know what I'm going to post first, depending on what video I'll do first. Probably I'll do. I'll probably start editing this video tonight. I text Sasuke and she's like, "Oh my god, I'm so excited for the video." And yeah, Sasuke, this is the winner. Do you have any other recipes <laughs> I can try? It's so funny because I never like. I never crave Mexican. I'm not sure I don't Mexican, but I never. I don't. I don't really crave chicken pot pies. I never get them at the frozen department. My mom says she likes to get the frozen chicken pot pies. I never crave it, but I really like it. The only thing I might do differently next time is I think the um, the filling was really really thick. Maybe I boiled it too much or something, but um, maybe more creamier would be better. I'm not sure. I, I saw some that was more creamier. Some are really, really thick. That's I might make it a little more creamier. Or, or I don't know. Not or not so thick. Let's say. <laughs> But when I saw Sasuke's video, I was like, it's funny, I don't even like chicken pot pie that much. And she didn't really show much of the chicken pot pie because, you know, she just moved into her new house and she's on the great setup right now. But just how she described it, like, oh my god, the chicken's so hot, it's so creamy, my house smells so good. And she kept on talking about the dish, the chicken pot pie, through the whole video. I'm like, I have to make it now. <laughs> So I really glad I made it because I've never made chicken pot pie before. So it's something new. Never made any chicken pot pie. I'm not really good at baking like pies and stuff, you know? <laughs> Fish your salad first and I'm gonna eat the chicken pot pie last. It's my favorite. Saturday. I spent the last four hours doing my taxes. I'm so glad it's finally done. A lot of work because I have a lot of businesses and jobs income that I have to calculate my taxes not a lot of W-2 so it just took a lot of work to do that this is an amazing dish you guys should definitely try it out. <laughs> mm. Crust is pretty crunchy. I'm going to leave the, um, the directions or instructions on how you make this in the description down below. But I guess I have this recipe. So that's when doubled it. But one person, I have a whole. And I'm not really a big on freezing things. It might be it might be good for you if you freeze it. I'm not really sure. I probably will freeze. Probably have some next couple nights and freeze some as well. Uh, but, you know, my freezer is pretty full for one person. Half it is perfect for me. So I didn't, um, yeah, so I'll leave the directions or instructions how to make it. But just let you guys know, I have the recipe. So <coughs> it was a lot, yeah, it took a lot of work, but I definitely it was worth it. I think, yeah, it's definitely worth it. I think it's kind of healthy. It has chicken, it has vegetables. It's really good. Uh oh. <laughs> amazing. Mm. 
you know, today off all day, no Ricky clients, no extra jobs. This crest country. Wow, wow, wow. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, I've read it. This is really cool because I never made chicken pot pie, so I just kind of call it trying a new recipe. It's not like a, a new pasta dish, it's just totally something different. <laughs> like they don't have stock. <laughs> It's almost 8 or 7.30, so it's kind of dark right now. I mean, it's going to get dark soon, so. So if the video is not the best quality outside, you know why, but this is really hot inside. They don't even stop anymore. <laughs> I haven't really cooked a really good meal in a while. This is a really good meal. Like it took hours to prep and make. So. My meals this week have been very easy. Like a hamburger, a veggie burger. Um, I don't know. It's like simple meal. Maybe a salad. Just simple meals. But I want to start cooking more. Speaking of cooking, um, I just finished editing a What's for Dinner video, guys. So it will be coming up next on my camera channel. The other day I was looking at you know, this I have 12 videos right now on what's for dinner. And I was looking the other day on all my videos I made. Like, so it's bringing me back to mem memories or what I made before for me and myself. The simple cooking videos. And this is really nice to go back. Like one time I made veggie spaghetti. That was really easy and healthy. And veggie tacos or just, just different, you know, food items. So I created, if you're interested in what's for dinner videos, or you like to know what people are making for dinner for a week, if you go to my other channel called Care Bear, the link will be in the description down below. Um, I created a, play it, a playlist for what's for dinner on that channel. And so I have already have 12 videos of what's for dinner, not including the one I just edited yesterday. So probably have 13 soon, but in case you're curious, I want to see any more what's for dinner, check out that channel. Uh, that playlist. Mm. 
Well, that was amazing. <laughs> really, really amazing. Thank you, Sauce Queen, very much for that recipe. I'm so super excited. I tried one of your recipes. Let me know, Sauce Queen, if you have any other recipes for me to try on a video. <laughs> I told my mom about making a video. She was like, you can do a video? I'm like, yeah. She's like, she can't wait to watch it because she likes chicken pot pie. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was really good. I would just, I think it was thick. I just think I made it too thick, like the, the base of the cream part. But I did add a little bit. I didn't. I don't have milk, so I added a little bit of half and half, a little bit of milk. I mean, sorry, a little bit of half and half, a little bit of water. So I think I added a little bit of half and half and less water on, on some of the directions. So, yeah, but more like runnier would be better. But... Uh, but let me know if that's good. What you think of the chicken pot pie? Was it too thick or was it just the right consistency? Um, yeah, but so anyways, follow Sauce Queen. I'm going to leave a description. I'm going to leave her channel in the description. I'm like, check her out. And you can see how she described her chicken pot pie. She just raved about it through most of the whole video. And that's why I tried it. But it was really good. I'm excited. I tried a new recipe. Yeah, it feels good to cook again. I haven't done it cooking in, a, in, a real, in, a, in quite a while. Like a really good meal, not like not just like a veggie burger, like something like really good and savory, you know, savory is a good word. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.